Welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we're going to look at the lower quartile, upper quartile, and range. Lower quartile is the lower quarter of the data. But first, remember what's the most important thing? Always arrange the values from smallest to biggest. So I'm going to do that quickly, like that. Now, the lower quartile, it's, it's the middle of the lowest middle okay so <laughs> let's quickly explain what I mean by that so let's find the middle number what do we call that do you remember from the previous lesson or well, that's called the median so let's find the median first so we can cross off that cross that one off cross that one off that one that one that one that one that one and there's the middle so now that we have the middle let's ignore that one now we can look at this lower half and we'll call that the upper half. Now what number is halfway, or what number is the middle number in this half? Well, if we cross there, cross there, ooh, now we're stuck with two numbers. All you do is you add those two numbers together and then you divide by two. So that's gonna give us four and a half. So we can say that Q1, which stands for the lower quarter, or lower quartile, is 4.5. If we look at the upper quarter, well that's, we cross that one, cross that one, and then we stuck with 7 and 11. So what we do is we add them together, so we say 7 plus 11, and we divide the answer by 2, and that's going to give us 9. So Q3, which we can also call the upper quartile, is equal to 9. So we've just divided our data into quarters. So this number here, or well, over there, divides it into two halves, and then this number over here, divides the lower half into a half, and then this number over here, which is between the 7 and 11, divides the data into, or divides the upper half in half as well. So what we have is we've just cut the data there, we've cut the data there, and we've cut the data there. So we've got three quarters. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's where we get the word quarter from. Then the next thing I want to talk about is the range. Now range is your highest value minus your lowest value. So your highest value is 12 and your lowest value is 3. So the range is going to be 12 minus 3, which is 9. Something else I want to talk about is, is there a more mathematical way to do lower quarter and upper quarter? Uh, yes, there is. So when we looked at the previous lesson, we said that to find the median, which is the one in the halfway position, we could say n plus 1 divided by 2. So to find quarters, we say n plus 1 divided by 4. And n is the number of values that you have, which in this case is 9. So we say 9 plus 1 divided by 4, which is going to give us 2.5. That is not the answer. That is the position that you should go to. So you go to position number 1, position number 2, and then position 2.5 is going to be exactly in between the 4 and the 5. And that's how we got 4.5. Okay, Kevin, now how do we find the third quarter? Well, you still say n plus 1 over 4, but you take whatever that answer is and you multiply it by 3 because we're looking for the third quarter. So that's going to be 3 times, we said that this part becomes 2.5, and 3 times 2.5 is 7.5. That is not the answer. You must go to position 7.5. So we go to position number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 11 would be 8, so 7.5 is exactly in between 7 and 11, so you add the 7 and 11 together, and you divide them by 2, and that is how we got the value of 9, so we can say that the answer there is 9. So the upper quarter is 9, the lower quarter is 4.5, the middle value is 6, and then the range, the range is 9. Then, the last thing, they might want to ask you to work out the interquartile range. Your teacher might call it the IQR. That's easy. It's the range of the quartile values. So it's Q3 minus Q1. So that's going to be 9 minus 4.5, which is equal to 4.5.